Hello guys, here is Shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make Indian style super yummy spinach curry with chickpea lentils. It's super yummy, super delicious to eat with roti and chapati and you may enjoy it with boiled rice as well. It's very tasty to eat. So let's see the recipe. So guys, I took one cup of chickpea lentils, soaked them in water for overnight and in the morning I have washed them properly and now we have to pressure cook them. So we need a pressure cooker. I am taking a small size pressure cooker and adding the lentils into the cooker. Now I am going to add some salt, half teaspoon of salt I am adding and with it I am adding 1 fourth teaspoon of sugar. This quantity of sugar will prevent the lentils from being mashed. That means we actually need the lentils to hold their own shapes even after being cooked fully. So now we have to add some water. We don't need to add so much water because our lentils are soaked previously. So now we have to cover the cooker and cook the lentils for 12 to 15 minutes on medium heat. So let's do it. On the other hand you can see friends that I have washed the spinach leaves very nicely and I have removed the stem parts of them as you can notice. So now we have to cut them, I mean we have to chop them into small pieces. I like to chop them very finely. You may chop them according to your wish, there is no problem. So, do it according to your wish. I do it this way in small pieces. So, all of them are done. Let us keep it aside and go for the pressure cooker, the lentils. Here it is. Let us check the lentils. You can see the shapes of the lentils. They are hold properly. It is because of the sugar we added. And let me check it. It is very nicely cooked as you can see, it is cooked 100% very nicely as we wanted. So keep it aside too and go for the pan. Let us add some cooking oil into the pan and let the oil heat well and after that we have to add some cumin seeds. So I am adding half teaspoon of cumin seeds, half teaspoon of mustard seeds, 3 to 4 red chilies, dry red chilies of course. 2 to 3 bay leaves and 2 to 3 green chilies that are cut lengthwise. Let us fry everything very nicely and after that we have to add some onion. I have taken one big size onion finely chopped. I added it. We have to wait for a transparent color and now the color is nicely transparent and I forgot to add some asafoetida. So now I am adding one pinch of asafoetida here. After the onion is transparent, we have to add some ginger garlic. I am taking 1 tablespoon of crushed ginger garlic. You may take paste instead, there is no problem. We have to fry everything very nicely until the raw flavor of ginger garlic is gone. After the raw flavor is gone, we have to add some tomatoes. So I am taking 1 big size tomato finely chopped. And now we have to add some spices also. At first I am adding salt to taste half teaspoon of turmeric powder, red chilli powder according to taste, half teaspoon of coriander seeds powder and now I am taking one teaspoon of kanda lasun masala. It is actually a Maharashtrian spices mixture. If you do not have it then skip it there is no problem. And now I am adding half teaspoon of garam masala. We have to mix everything nicely. My spices mixture seems very dry so I am adding some water. If yours is not dry, you may skip water, there is no problem. After adding some water, I have to mix everything very nicely again. And now I am going to cover the pan and cook the spices for some time until the tomatoes are nicely soft and oil is released from the spices mixture. And the spices mixture is done. As you can see, the tomatoes are nicely soft and oil is released. So it's high time to add the spinach here. So let's add the spinach into the pan. Let us mix a little. And after mixing, we have to cover the pan again for some time. The heat should be on medium. After 2 to 3 minutes, the quantity is decreased as you can notice. 
I am mixing it again and now we have to add the chickpea lentils here the boiled chickpea lentils I have removed them into a bowl I am adding it and now you may add water according to your wish firstly I am mixing everything nicely and then I will add water according to my choice my requirements I am adding a very little water you may change the quantity of water there is no problem so now we have to cover the pan and cook for 5 to 6 minutes and now 5 to 6 minutes are gone and the curry is almost ready we have to check the veggies I am mixing a little now I am checking it a bigger part of the veggies and it's cooked very well at the end of this recipe we have to garnish it with fresh coriander leaves and one teaspoon of ghee ghee means clarified butter you may skip the ghee there is no problem but it will give us a great flavor to the curry so I'm mixing everything very nicely again and our curry is ready so let's turn the heat off and serve the curry hot you have seen friends the recipe is very easy but it's very delicious to eat you may enjoy it with roti chapati and boiled rice as well it's super yummy to eat so try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to let me know about your experience hit the like button friends if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching hope to meet you in the next video bye bye take care